Fox News alert this morning, the world on edge after terror attacks on three separate continents, all coming within hours of each other. Several taken into custody after a beheading and an explosion at an American-owned French gas factory. Well, the same day, terrorists struck a Tunisian beach resort and a mosque in Kuwait. ISIS taking responsibility for two of the attacks. And the attacks coming as the feds warn of a possible threat here at home ahead of the 4th of July. Here to weigh in is former Navy SEAL Rob O'Neill, the man who killed Osama bin Laden and Fox News contributor. Good morning, Rob. Thanks for being with us. Good morning, Anna. Thanks for having me. So this came out from the feds before these attacks. Is this something that we need to be worried about ahead of Independence Day here at home? Absolutely, but we should be worried about it uh, every day, especially with our border in the south. It's not secure at all. We've got refugees coming in from Iraq um, pretty much every single day. You don't know who else is coming over. These are just the people turning themselves in. Uh, they remember they're at war with us, even though we sometimes forget. Yeah, they're going to hit us here. It's, it seems like, Rob, as the chaos increases in the Middle East, as central governments fall or become destabilized in Syria, Libya, Iraq, the threat grows. Do you see a connection? The threat's growing because the radical uh, Muslims, Sunni Muslims, are pretty much taking it over. That's ISIS, that's al-Qaeda, that's Boko Haram, all those people. Uh, and they're not afraid of anybody. Nobody's doing anything about it. Uh, we're letting them run amok. They've got the caliphate. They've got this mystique. They own the social media. Um, they're glorified to a lot of uh, radicalized Muslims from other countries. They're getting it from the West. They're getting it from the States. Um, 10,000 Tunisians, where that massacre was yesterday, they fought with ISIS. Um, yeah, it's getting worse. Um, we've heard some terrorism analysts say that it's, it's dangerous to call these attacks lone wolf style attacks because we need to be fighting the ideology as a whole and it doesn't matter where these people are getting radicalized. It matters that they're taking it out and, and, and carrying out their plans. They do what they say they're going to do. They are doing what they're going to say they're going to do. And yes, we need to fight them. We need a real coalition. Uh, people, we say we have 60 countries doing whatever it is that we're doing. We're not doing much. We need to take the lead get our Muslim friends involved. We need a real army. We need uh, help from both Sunni and Shia. And, you know, we need everything from, from uh, killing the bad guys to educating the younger people. You know, something needs to be done about this because whether or not we like it, we're in a 300-year war right now, which it's a matter of, uh, you know, us r recognizing it. It's, it seems like in our fight against the Sunni factions, ISIS most prominently, we wind up siding with Iran-backed militias. How scary is that development, do you think? Well, it's scary because we're going to need help from Sunnis to fight the Sunnis because if we have nothing but the Shia, we're backing Iran, plus we're, we're taking sides in the 1,400-year-old civil war, which we can't do. I mean, keep in mind, you know, they, the, a lot of the radical Muslims hate us because we're infidels, the non-believers, but also they hate the Shia because they're apostates, which means they diverted from the original religion. So it, there's a lot going on, and we need to educate ourselves, and then we need to get involved with a true coalition. Quickly, Rob, yesterday, um, in that, that attack that happened in southeastern France, it wasn't long uh, before authorities came out and they called it terror. Is that something that we need to be doing Good. here in the United States? At Absolutely, we need to be. The, the, there's a time for political correctness and there's a time to be realistic. And a terrorist attack is a terrorist attack. We're not good at calling it that because we're too afraid of offending people. But personally, I'd rather be offended than dead. Exactly. Nicely put. Rob, it's great to see you this morning. Thanks for doing it. Thanks, Tucker. Thanks, Anna.